as a unifier. If you cannot unify your party, how do you intend to unify Nigeria as a whole? This is the question on the lips of every right-thinking Nigerian right now, following the internal crisis rocking the People's Democratic Party, PDP. This is our discussion for today. My name is ADS. Let's get to it immediately. In 2014, seven governors walked out on the People's Democratic Party, PDP, to form what was known then as the new PDP. The reason was that they want to salvage the party from those who have hijacked it. Atiku Abubakar was a member of the new faction. This faction within the PDP motivated the formation of the All Progressive Congress, APC, that eventually snatched power from the ruling PDP in 2015 is eight years after and the PDP that seriously wants to take back power from the APC is still faced with internal crisis just five months to the presidential election. What really is the issue here? Now listen to the former governor of Plateau State, Jonah Jang, table what the core issue is. Watch. Everything Governor Wiki has been saying it is not for him as a person. And it is not because he lost the primaries or he was not taken as a VPS. It is being meant to understand. We have gathered here today to assure you that see the, our gathering here. We are all in support of what Governor Wiki has been saying because he has been saying nothing but the truth. And uh, it is our desire, some of us who are the founding members of PDP from G18 to G34 here, there, and so on. We formed this party on the principle of justice, fair play, and equity. But for the national chairman, Senator Yocha Ayu, to go and embrace Tambuwal, calling him the hero of the convention, which means there was a private arrangement that was done with Tambuwal to shortchange other contestants, including Governor Wiki. And therefore, we unequivocally ask that IU has to step down so that having got the presidential candidate from the northern part of the country through his assistance, he should as well now step down so that uh, the national chairman can move to, to the south so that the party can be united for the campaign towards 2023. Yes, this is it. The River State Governor Inyas Nwinke and his camp believe the national chairman of the party, Iyocha Ayu, didn't provide a level playing ground for all aspirants during the presidential primaries. They believe Ayu orchestrated a plan to make Atiku win the party's presidential primary. And that was why he, Ayu, boldly referred to the governor of Sokoto State, Aminu Tambowal, as the hero of the convention when he stepped down from the presidential race and asked that all his delegates vote for Atiku Abubakar. Since the situation is like this already, the weakest case camp believe the party chairman, Iyocha Ayu, has finally shot himself in the leg. He's from the north and cannot lead a northern presidential candidate to the campaigns according to the party's zoning arrangement. Watch a chieftain of the party, Olabo De George, read out what the Wiki camp has resolved to do if the right things are not done, leading to the opening of the campaigns slated to begin on the 28th of September 2023. 
22. Just seven days from today. Watch. After an exhaustive meeting held on Tuesday, 20th of September in Port Harcourt, we as committed members of the PDP resolve that we are deeply concerned about the divisions in our party. We are aware that over the years our party has developed conflict resolutions, resolution mechanisms that guaranteed our inclusiveness and victory. However, the published presidential campaign council list translates to putting the cart before the horse. The pertinent issue before the party remains the resolution of the IU leadership debacle, which is a departure from the spirit and letter of our constitution, which undermines the unity of our great party. It was therefore resolved that Senator Yocha Ayu resigns as the national chairman of the party for an acting chairman of Southern Nigeria Extraction to emerge and lead the party on the national campaign. Consequently, we resolve not to participate in the campaign council in whatever capacity until the resignation of Dr. Yocha Hai. Will Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, overlook this? Can he win the presidential election with a divided house? Look at the caliber of politicians that have stepped down from his campaign if Ayu does not resign before the campaigns begin. These are chieftains of the party and elder statesmen. It now becomes a common knowledge that if Atiku Abubakar cannot unify his party, how does he intend to unify Nigeria as a whole? Governor Inyas Nwike seems to have what it takes to pull down Ayu from the position of the national chairman. The interesting part here is that the governor of Oyo State, Sheyi Makinde, who was named as the vice chairman south of the Atiku Campaign Council, of which Wike is a member of his team, is also in the Wike camp calling for Ayu's resignation. Hear him speak. Watch. I uh, mentioned at the uh, Southwest uh, Consultative uh, uh, meeting and that is exactly where we are. We hope that the powers that be will listen to the voice of reason and do the need. Thank you. Wiki has really become an influential figure in the PDP. What do you think his moments will be like now? Check out this video. <laughs> So if you have given to Adam Awa, you give to Benue, you give to Delta, who to give rivers? Who to give rivers? He take, he doesn't take, he doesn't take. What of rivers? What do they take? Just you come and collect food. Fa fa fa. confusion from now to the end until they, they withdraw and understand that there's no road there. Do you understand me? Come on, 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 come on. Anyways, the greatest power in any election lies with the electorate. We will make the needed change come 2023. Just get ready.
I'll see you again.